Um, we were on a motorcycle uh, adventure, and uh, I was on my Harley, and Laura was on hers. And then we had a friend with us, and uh, he'd want us, us to go on the low, low pass through the middle of Idaho for years, so we finally decided to go. And we uh, spent a few days getting there, and uh, had made it most of the way through the low, low pass, Highway 12, through Idaho, and then stayed overnight and uh, next to a river. The next morning, um, I was sick. I don't remember much of that, but I uh, was sick and ended up passing out on my uh, motorcycle and crashing into a bed of lava rocks. Uh, broke a lot of bones and created a traumatic brain injury. Unfortunately, Laura was behind me on her bike and saw all that. We flew him into the Coeur d'Alene Hospital, which is about a 30-minute flight and um, got him into the hospital there locally, so. Uh, they had me there for 11 days. I was in a coma for much of that. Uh, we were able to bring him back here so he could be around his family and be in a hospital environment, which to me felt a lot better to have him here where I knew the doctors and I knew um, the environment in the area, and we had a lot of hookups here, I felt like. Um, with Intermountain Healthcare. They made all the necessary arrangements, so all we had to do was pull up into the front of the brand new hospital here, and they were waiting for us. Very emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt like I was in this safe environment, and I didn't understand where I was or why I was there, but um, the staff, the neuro, staff, Dr. Dodds and his group, uh, took amazingly good care of me and, and cared for Laura and our family. He was so excited every day to tell me, either when I got there or on the phone when you call me, you know, early in the morning, here's where I'm going today and here's what I'm going to work on today. And he was so excited and he loved his therapist. He loved the therapist and he loved you know, each one of them and what he was going to do and the nurses and the CNAs, everybody that came in to work with him and, you know, on, on each little task and each thing that he had to do, he was so excited to do the things that he had to do and, you know, we're two years into this now and I can happily say that my husband is 100% back. He, he is back to as far as working and speech and he doesn't need occupational therapy, of course, anymore, and he is back to the person as far as back at work. He's back at work, and he's 100% back at work. As far as his personality, we'll always work on that because his, his brain has changed, and so his personality's different, and we're working on that, but that's what makes things new and different in life, you know. I'm sure my personality changes, too. <laughs> so we get to work on that. <laughs>